guys, it's your girl Jungle Naps, aka Jensine. Welcome back. You see, today I got the natural hair on and popping today. So I'll be doing a hair video. I'm going to compare two types of hair masks from Shea Moisture. I just picked them up at Ulta and I was kind of like, you know what? I want to do a really like laid back, kind of like deep conditioning video. So as you'll see in the video, you know, I'm in my robe, I don't have any makeup on, I'm just trying new products and talking to you guys so I hope you like this kind of format but please let me know in the comments down below and give it a thumbs up if you do and if you're new to my channel please subscribe I try my best to put out content three times a week so you want to make sure that you can know when to come on back so go ahead and hit that notification bell so without any further ado I'm going to get into the video so we can talk about the products I wanted this video to be super chill. As you guys can see, I'm in my robe. I've got my natural hair all sectioned. I do have it already washed. I did um, clarify my hair using the Uncle Funky's Daughter Squeaky Shampoo. Love that shampoo. And I believe I did a video on it, so I will link it somewhere up above for you to check out when you're done watching this. I want to use uh, the Shea Moisture Super Fruit Complex 10 in 1 Renewal System Hair Mask on this side of my hair. And then on the other side, I'm going to use the Shea Moisture uh, Sacha Inchi Oil Omega 369 Rescue and Repair Hair Mask. So um, this is going to go on this side. And uh, yeah, let's just get started. It's a super chill day today. I just kind of wanted to show you guys how I deep condition my hair. And since I have these two new products, I was like, well, we might as well have a little bit of fun and uh, try some new products out. So this is what my hair looks like. It's pretty much like soaking wet right now. I'm gonna go and get my clips so that I can really make sure that, you know, all of my hair are saturated with the deep conditioner. So I'll be right back. I use these kinds of clips to just, you know, make things a lot easier for me since my hair is so freaking thick. So I'm really excited to try this conditioner. I've heard great things about it and it smells really good too. It just smells like super fruity and the consistency is like really thick, which is just the way that I like it. So what I do is I really just like coat it and I section it and I run my hand over the length of my strands and I really like to focus it on the ends because those are the oldest parts of your hair and you know they just need some TLC. So far I really like how this feels. It is really thick so it's hard for me to like spread it around as much as some you know conditioners that are a little bit more runny. That's my only complaint but it smells heavenly. Okay so I'm just gonna use some oil coat that in oil. The reason I like to coat my hair in oil when I'm deep conditioning is because my hair is uh, low porosity, which means a lot of the times it's hard for moisture to penetrate into the hair shaft. So I use oil because when I sit underneath my dryer, the hair cuticle opens up and that way I can make sure moisture doesn't escape. So here's one section and I'm gonna go ahead twist that up and then continue on. So apparently this conditioner has um, a super fruit complex. So it's got a ton of berries which have like anti-aging properties for the hair. I never really understand when companies talk about anti-aging products for the hair but if you guys know like what that's supposed to help with let me know. I mean is it just because as you get older your hair gets prone to more breakage? Um, because they never really specify, you know? I just wonder if it's like a marketing gimmick, but whatevs. <laughs> um, it's also supposed to have biotin in it and then marula oil. And I know that biotin, when applied topically to the hair, makes it look temporarily thicker. Of course, the benefits aren't like lasting, you know, like for a long, long time, but it's kind of nice if you want your hair to like feel a little thicker, a little stronger. So 
yeah marula oil let's see what it says on the back so marula oil is uh supposed to contain plant peptides that help support the elasticity of your hair which is pretty nice um so you know as i'm applying conditioner i've got like a ton of little shed hairs that are coming off um, my hair does shed a lot given how thick it is so that's pretty normal for my hair Sometimes when I get tired of it though, what I do is I do like a tea rinse, like a black tea rinse or a green tea rinse. It's really, really good for the hair, super moisturizing and helps with hair growth and shedding. So far, my initial first impression of the Super Fruit Deep Conditioner, like hair mask, is it's really, really, really thick. It depends on what you like. If you're just trying to get the conditioner in your hair, fast be done with it it might put a hamper on things but it did smell really good so we'll have to wait and see what the final result is for that one let's move on to the other side of the head okay so for this side of my hair we've got the sancha insha oil and it smells i don't really know how to describe this smell kind of smells like earthy i really like it and it's a lot thinner the consistency than the other one which might be kind of nice yeah it's like really easy to spread on my fingers oh yeah it smells so amazing I love it so the purpose of this particular conditioner is it's supposed to help rebuild any hair that's you know a little bit damaged or under stress you know if you apply heat to your hair this might be something that's like really good for just helping, you know, your curls to bounce back. Let's see what it says. It's got Rose of Jericho. I definitely smell the rose in there, which is supposed to uh, draw in and hold moisture. You've got Quinoa, which basically has a bunch of amino acids to protect the hair. And then the Sancha Incha oil has a bunch of omega fatty acids vitamins, antioxidants, and that's supposed to just help revive your damaged hair. Okay, so I've got my oil. I kind of forgot to do this before I twisted it up. So I'm just going to press it in and focus it on the ends. And also don't forget to get your edges with oil and conditioner because it really helps them to stay strong. You want your edges to grow and be prosperous okay so now my hair is all coated I'm gonna go sit under the dryer for probably about half an hour and once I finish styling my hair I'm gonna come back I'm gonna chat about these two and tell you guys what my thoughts are okay so now that my hair is all done um, I did put my hair in some flat twists and they're really cute like the shrinkage is majorly real today I mean just to show you guys like look <laughs> but I think it looks really cute um, as for how my hair feels so for me for example this side of my hair feels a lot more moisturized that's to be expected because the super fruit um, hair mask was here and this side um, had the uh, Sancha Inchi oil hair mask and it was mostly designed to strengthen the hair so this feels slightly and I mean just slightly less moisturized but not dry or brittle or anything like that I am noticing um, I do have a bit more shrinkage on this side of my hair compared to this side honestly I'm not really sure if that's because of the deep conditioners but I just kind of wanted to note that overall I will say that I really like both of them I think that both serve a very different purpose the super fruit one is definitely more moisturizing and it's super 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 thick the Sancha Inchi one is supposed to be more for strengthening your hair you know if you've experienced a lot of damage or maybe you just use heat and you want to make your curls bounce back I think that one's perfect so I'm going to continue to use both and I'm definitely going to use them for what they're best at taking you know that into consideration obviously since it's winter I'm going to be using the moisture one a bit more and occasionally using the um, Sancha Inchi mask 
for when my hair just needs a little bit of a boost if I'm noticing any breakage or anything like that. So I hope you guys kind of enjoyed it. It was a little bit more chill, a little bit more laid back. Um, and if you're not subscribed to my channel already, please do. I try my best to put out three videos every week. So make sure you go ahead and hit your notifications so you know when to come back. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.